Today is the day. Today is the day we take on the Grand High Master of all awful EA builds. Whenever I look at this build, I get unnecessarily angry. The floor plan, the color choices, the style, everything about it makes me want to slap a fish. And we are in the world of Del Sol Valley, and I don't think this house needs an introduction, to be honest with you, nor does the Sim who resides in it. This is Judith Ward's Del Sol Valley mansion that I, I mean, I don't need to say anything, do I really? You just, just, just look at it. It's embarrassing. It really is. Now let's go around and bitch about every single thing in this house. Starting off with the grand high bitch herself, Judith Ward. I can't bear this sim. I really, really can't. She shouts at my sims. She's just an awful person and I just don't like her. Full stop. Now, exteriorly. So, we have siding. Wooden siding that looks like it belongs somewhere in the Hamptons and not in the kind of like Beverly Hills area of The Sims, really, to be honest with you. What is going on with those circle windows? And why do we have clown striped awnings over the base game windows at the bottom? Look at that door with those windows there. What is that about? What is that about? Like, no, absolutely not. Why did you go for a black door? Were you trying to match them with the roof tiles? I have no idea, but it's disgusting. We're moving away. There is no terrain paint. There is no terrain paint under any of the trees. The weird placement of like lavender. This funny bin out here with that stupid little door with those big stairs there. What is that, for goodness sake? Like, look at these windows. Half of those windows at the top there are hidden away by the bloody trims. I have no idea what they were thinking of there. Why did they go with hexagonal um, columns on each end there? The weird choices of windows. That base game one in the blue, that one in the white and brown. <sighs> seriously, seriously. I, I told you that makes me unnecessarily angry, this build. This weird, like, bit at the back here. Half of the windows, again, are hidden by the freezes. I don't understand why they did that. With, like, three front doors for doors at the top there. Just looks weird. What are those sofas doing out the back here? Like, who invited you? For goodness sake. Embarrassing, as far as I'm concerned. And it doesn't get any better around this way. Different, completely different windows on this side of the house to the other side. Thank the universe, because... Well, that is an improvement on something, but it's a bit like polishing a poo, isn't it, to be honest? Now, into the interiors. You come through the front door and you're greeted with this weird, unlit, huge hall, like entrance hall. Don't understand what's going on here. Really, really don't. The stairs kind of go up to the side there. Then you come up the stairs and it's the biggest landing you've ever bloody seen in your life. With these absolutely gopping chandeliers hanging from them i can't bear them you look down into a piano room down there don't mind the look down point quite nice don't mind the use of the base game kind of like marble tile either but it's just it just gets more horrific the more we go around so starting off look at the bloody size of this kitchen but how much counter space do you need with no cupboards do you know what i mean like I just can't. I really, really can It makes me very sad to look inside there. It really does. And that's where that weird door just comes out of, with no glass on, out into the front of the build as well. Very strange. The colour choices in this dining room, the green curtains, the black tiles, it's just a big pile of mess. The fact that off of this entrance hall, one of the doors are black and one of the doors are white, and then you come into here, there is a bathroom in here, and then there's also another bathroom in here. I don't really get the point of having two huge bathrooms right next door to each other off of the main foyer. Very strange. And just the general floor plan downstairs. I don't get it. I really don't understand the use of this massive hall and then having a tiny, well not tiny, but very much smaller living room area with two bathrooms, two offices. It's just tragic. It makes me angry. Just the fact that this huge place is a two bedroom mansion. I don't understand it. There must be some law with Judith Ward where maybe her husband lived on one side of the build compared to where she lived and this is her kind of suite. But just the general size. Look at the size of this. Look at the size of that bloody bedroom. I can't. The dressing room with like one chair in the middle and a huge wall of mirrors. It's just, Oh, but, you know, what are we going to do? What are we going to do with this build? And I, do you know what? I think there's only one thing we can do. That is the only thing we can do for this place. I'm sorry. We're starting from scratch. Now, 
I am going to go in with that EA limitation. So this, this house is not going to be overly decorated or overly cluttered by any means. We are only going to be using base game and get together to kind of fit in with this world. We are going to go for a very symmetrical kind of very classic looking Beverly Hills or Del Sol Valley style mansion. So I'm thinking kind of like columns, that kind of vibe. We're going to try and keep it classier than what it is, but there are going to be some garish choices because we are catering for that little witch down there. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So I'm going to make a start. Now, I'm not going to be showing you everything and what I do. I'm definitely going to be doing a lot of it off of camera, but I will show you around it once I have completed it. Now we just need to get down a bare bones kind of floor plan of the downstairs and the upstairs and just get a structure going in the front, to be honest with you. So let's make a start on that. So I'm going to make a start on the main entrance itself. And if you see me looking over to the left here, I've got a few reference images, just reference images of kind of this like faux chateau vibe that I really want. I want it to kind of look like a fake French chateau. That's the kind of vibe I'm going to go for for this, I think. I think I'm not too sure. We're going to continue on. OK, one main entrance kind of like cube, shall we say. Uh, gone for base game for most of it, apart from the windows and the columns, to be honest with you, and the stairs and also the flooring. So probably not all of it. Putting some trees on the side here. Um, what else do we do? We went for a bit more of like a domed kind of shape at the top. And I think we're going to do a very symmetrical wing on each side of the build. Kind of wrap it around this way and have this like pool area somewhere over here, I think. I think that is the plan. It's not looking too bad. I think it's okay. Not the greatest, but it was definitely an improvement on the last, wasn't it? Yes, it was indeed. So I really want to get a high fence going here. So I'm thinking about using this one. I'm thinking about using this big one here. That one there was not too bad, but I'm just wondering if it's got a plane as watch. No, it doesn't. Okay, well, never mind. We're going to use this one anyway. Sorry, Judith, but you're going to have to move your bitch. So now that I've got that in place, we can concentrate a little bit more now on the wings of the build coming out through this way. So I think what I want to do is maybe go to there like this. In fact, I'm going to do two. We're going to bay the window out here, do a three. And then I think what I'm going to do is do another three and then come to here, another three there, bay one more window out there. And then what I'm going to do is just drag this strip, this shape, just so I can see where we'll, what we're working with. Lower it down to there. I may put some more bay windows on. We'll see. Okie dokie. And I think I'm going to wrap this all the way around as well and copy this shape over onto this other side. So I actually reduced the size of it. I've reduced the size of it slightly a little bit more because I want a nice like garden area. We're going to do some lovely gardens. Uh, so yeah, reduced the size of it, but made it very symmetrical on each side. Haven't figured out a roofing sort of like technique that I want to do on this just yet. I think what I want to do first is get into the interiors and just figure out a floor plan first. And then we'll go ahead and pick the roofs and the windows. So that took a little while to sort out. It's it's looking OK. We have gone for some dormers up here. You can see what I've done with the roof line as well. We've gone for this kind of like the half gabled roofs and it kind of acts. It makes it look a little bit more chateau-y. And you can see what I've done at the back here. It's very symmetrical. It's making me cry at how symmetrical it is. I'm not a fan of symmetrical builds in the slightest. Um, We've done a little kind of area out here where I'm going to put a lovely pool area. This is going to be a big balcony moment up here. We've played around with a floor plan as well. Now the floor plan is not my best. I won't lie to you. But you coming through this way, you probably can't see this very well because there's no lights in here. But until I've picked all of that, we're not putting them in. Main entrance area. I wanted to pay respect to the last house. Um, and I've put in two toilets. So I've put in a toilet either side here. So it kind of acts as a toilet for each half of the house. This is going to be the dining room area. This is going to be a kitchen area here. There's a walkthrough coming through this way where you're going to get entrance out into the grounds at the back there. As I said, two toilets, just a little walkway here, a small little study office and a living area in this part here. You come upstairs. You have got this big landing area that I've kind of knocked through a little bit. I didn't want to do the same as what it was in the last build, but I kind of opened that area out and it's got four bedrooms here as well with two bathrooms upstairs 
as well. So it's very symmetrical. It's very samey same. But that's all that Judith deserves as far as I'm concerned. And that is where we're going to go with it. Yes, we are indeed. Now we're going to put these windows on together. I'm thinking we're going to be using these same windows as what we've got here and putting them all around. Now I'm hiding the details, sadly. There is that like nice bit of detail at the top there, but when you go into the interiors, the windows are already so low. I don't want them, I don't want to have them any lower. And I don't want them to kind of have their own uh kind of floor to ceiling height moment. That's not the kind of vibe I want for this house. We're going to this very awful McMansion kind of vibe. And they don't deserve it as far as I'm concerned. And Julia definitely doesn't deserve it. Julia, Judith. <laughs> <laughs> Julie <laughs> right I'm thinking that very samey same these need to come up as well I haven't put them up yet there we go all that one at least um okay we're coming around to this way and we're gonna put the same on the windows here I think we're gonna have some doors on the top here with that balcony moment so we'll make that apparent in just a sec and I'm also gonna put some more dormers at the top of this build um of this roof line here including the trims we're missing the trims on that area there's the doors now this house is giving me like sims 2 vibes so i'm gonna go with it i'm gonna absolutely go with it i think we should have a curve coming off the edge here and the same over onto this side here as well so let me flop another one there and bring that into that moment like that let me see this yeah i think that will work let's get this trim on there as well okie dokie we're using the same fence as what we've used out the front which is that base game one it's the only one that's going to kind of match in with the semi sort of style that i want with this place stunning stunning things we need to bring those columns around to, the, to this area as well yep that's the vibe i want and then the same up here as well so bringing them down to here i think we should do one there one there and maybe that will work it doesn't because that's not big enough so i'm going to make it big enough there we go beautiful yes beautiful absolutely not beautiful but we're continuing on anyway so i want more of these windows here i think we need to put one here let's put them up to the height that we've got them there oh oh no nope, that's fine and there as well let me see where they are in the middle here yes gorgeous let me see this i do believe so yes okay might do do i want to do smaller windows here i think i do i think i'll do two one there one there and the same here one there one there oh god this is really making me quite sad this back this build but we're doing it anyway um i'm gonna do another one there and there and another one there and there as well yes mcmansion absolute mcmansion vibes and i think we're gonna copy the, the doors from upstairs down onto this level as well i might just do two though i won't do three Oh god, the symmetry. Oh god, that's disgusting. <laughs> I don't think I can do that. Maybe if I just did all white ones. There we go. Going for the base game white one down there. It looks okay. Going for this base game flooring as well. And that I put that around the front too. And this vent, this gate was really bothering me. So I've gone for two gates here. I think what I'm gonna do is have like a entrance going like this with maybe like a fountain in the middle or something. I think that's what we're going to do. Now, what I need to concentrate on now, and this is going to take me a long while, so I'm not going to do much of this on camera at all, but I will show you around, is the landscaping. Now, the landscaping is probably going to save this build, so I need to concentrate on this landscaping. Um, and I'll be back when it is finished. Landscaping is complete. We've also put in some more details everywhere as well. So you can see I've put in some balconies up on the well, little Juliet balconies up onto those windows up there. I've also checked in a few flower boxes. We've put copious amounts of hedges everywhere, all lit up rather gorgeously at night. And you may see these little llamas here that I've um gave I've gave them the same hairstyle as Judith. I just <laughs> I was pissing, I won't lie, I was absolutely pissing myself when I was making these llamas, but I just think that's absolutely iconic as far as I'm concerned. And there's four of them. There's four of them all around the house. There's another one there with Judith's hairstyle. <laughs> why, why do I find that so funny? Because I'm a child, because I am a child. And this is the back of the house. So this is the back of the house. This is what I came up with. We've gone for a swimming pool up on this area here. We've put stairs down either um, in the middle, going down to this here, because remember, I reckon they like kind of own this area here as well, you know, and we've put stairs down on either side of them. 
as well. And more Judith llamas around. <laughs> I reckon she paid the gardeners to do that, you know. I reckon she absolutely paid the gardeners to do that. I put our dining table out on this area here. Um, coming out from that area there. And I've also done the balcony here with some sun lounges so they can look down upon all of the peasants that live down in that area there. I think Judith would be very much up for that. But I'm happy with it. I am actually happy with how this has turned out now. And again, all base game and just get to get, get famous. Thank you. I've also picked out the wallpapers and the flooring on the interiors and put all the lighting and stuff in as well. So this is the kind of vibe we are going for. It's very monochrome. We're going to hit it with a few colors here and there, but we're going to keep it very classic. Very, you can imagine, very opulent is probably going to be the best word for it. But I've put all that needs to be here in for the minute until we get into the furnishing. Now, as I said, I'm not going to show you how I'm furnishing everything. I'll show you how I furnish Judith's room. I'm actually going to make this into Judith's dressing room and bedroom. So she's got her own big like left wing of the house, you know, and then we'll do these two as guest bedrooms. I think that's the vibe that we're going to do. And then together, what we'll do is the living room, uh, the dining room and the kitchen. I'll make sure to keep all of that in. But the rest of it, I'm going to furnish off of camera. And then I'll show you around in a video tool. So there are lots left out in this build. But what I'm thinking, we'll, we'll, we're going to start with the living room. And we're going to have a, we're going to have a nice chat. Uh, what I'm thinking is I really want to tackle another bigger build in this way. But I think what I'm going to... Another bigger EA build. But what I think I'm going to do is make it into a bit more of a like a let's build. You know, like we usually do where it's all kind of done in real time. And there's a mansion in Windenburg that I've had my eye on for quite some time that I think we should renovate together. So next time we'll do it as a bit of a let's build rather than a speed build, just so you can kind of see everything kept in. You know, that is the vibe. Yes, it is. We're using these sofas, by the way. Uh, I'm going to use, I hope this one here comes. Oh, I could go quite plain with it. Let me see this. Yeah, something like this. If, I, if you can come back here. Now you've got to remember, I'm going to decorate this with EA limitations so I am going to not put in as much detail as what I normally do. Let's center this rug to the fireplace and then center these sofas there. Yes that one. Now coffee table we're going to go for you. Gorgeous. I think that looks stunning in here. It's not going to be the most exciting of furnishings because we don't have that much to play around with base game and get famous. And I don't like either of the packs. Well, base game's not too bad. It's better, but I'm bored of it. But with Get Famous, that some of the stuff is just garish. But we are decorating for Judith Ward and no one else, you know? Yeah, we'll put two hall tables there. I don't think I'm going to put a TV in this room. No. Mm, do you know what, though? I think Judith would like a TV. I think Judith would love to watch a bit of TV. So, yeah, maybe we will then. We'll use this big one, and I'm not even going to size it down. I'm going to keep you there. Yep, that's fine. I think maybe something over in the corner here. Maybe the fire things. Have a little look. The fire pokers. There we go. We'll pop them down in the corner there. I think a bunch of flowers for the table. Just for a little bit of decoration. Oh, maybe she got these from like a fan or something. Yeah, let's do that. Plop those there. I can't bear that bunch of flowers. I think they're bloody gopping. But we're going to put it in anyway. Um, there's a picture up there. Uh, I did bring that out to put somewhere. Can we put it there? It's probably a bit small. What about if we use one of the... Oh, this one here. What about if we bring you to like there like that? Yeah, I think that could work quite nicely. I think to finish off this room, maybe a lamp somewhere. We could put like a little side table. Oh, should we use this one? Yes, it's disgusting. We use this one here. Oh God, you know what? Draft lamp. I'm feeling a draft lamp coming on. Oh, I thought it was Get Famous. Maybe it's not then. Where is that lamp from? Is it Vintage Glamour? I think it's Vintage Glamour. Oh, okay. Well, that's ruined what I wanted to do. So maybe I'll just use one of these instead. Kind of here for it. What about if we put this here instead? Yeah, I think I will. I'm going to pop you on this side instead. You were just looking a bit weird on that side. Okay. Yeah, I'm kind of happy with that. It's got everything that it needs in there. I think we'll move on to the kitchen. So we're going to utilize most of this wall here for the kitchen, I think. I uh, don't really know where I'm going to put the oven. I might. I don't usually like putting the oven up against a window. But I think for today, we're just going to crack on. Because it's Shooter Ward and I don't like her, you know. We'll use that base game oven there. I am going to use a an extractor here. I think we'll go for... 
Maybe something a little bit more like the oh I hate the texture on that. It's awful. Maybe not then. Maybe this one instead. We'll flop you to about there like that. Gorgeous. Yes, I think that could work quite nicely. As I said, a fridge is going in this point here. We're not really um spoilt for choice with what we can use and whatnot. So I'm gonna flop you to there. I'm thinking maybe a sink on that point. Yeah, we'll flop a sink into there. I think maybe or oh, even now needs to be a little bit more plush. We'll go for that one. In fact, I'm going to put the sink there because it's on the window and you can look out then, can't you? As if Judith would wash her own dishes. Oh, yeah, I think that could work. We do need to get a bin and stuff in here. It's a very long kitchen on this point, so it's almost making me want to put an island in. Yeah, I think that could work. I do think that could work. I think what I might do, though, is just bring it down to that position there. So we've got a little bit more room on this side and then we can just put chairs all the way across there then. Or bar stool, sorry. I am going to move the light now, though, so it centralizes over the island. Bring in that. Beautiful. So let me get some chairs, and I'm going to get some cupboards and stuff around, and just some finer details. But that is basically what Judith's kitchen is going to look like. And there we go. One complete kitchen. We've gone for those bar stools from Get Famous. Put some pictures up on the wall. I did a little seating area over in this bay window here as well, with that gopping looking seat. And also that awful looking curtain. And um, we've put some pans, some wine. I put all the cupboards up on the walls as well. that go all the way along to there. And a little coffee machine over on this side. There is a bin there, but it's disappeared. There it is. There's the bin. And I also put in a plant in that corner. So again, not masses of detail, but we're going for EA vibes. <clears throat> the devil in me then. Sorry, darlings. EA vibes. <laughs> But yeah, we're finished with that. So we're going to make a start on the dining room. So I think this is a place where Judith would like to show off a lot. So we are going to put in this dining table, the base game ones, with these big high-backed chairs from Get Famous. I kind of like where that table is. So I'm going to move the light so it's directly uh, above it. Let me get that little spotlight and pop it in there as well. Oh, yes. And I do think we need some kind of rug underneath of the table. Do you come in anything that's not goppin? No, you don't. Goppin is the word of today. I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm using that throughout this whole build. We'll go for that plainer looking base game swatch, I think. I think that will be fine. Um, Up here, maybe some kind of china cabinet. I can't remember what we've got base game wise. So let's have a little look together and fail miserably. So I picked out these uh, china cabinets. I've put them in there. We've put a little corner shelving moment in that bit. I put a little chaise looking sofa in that bay window there. Put a plant in the corner over there, some flowers. And I also pulled out a grand piano and just tucked it away into that bay window there. And I think that is enough detail in that room uh, for Judith kind of for it to be honest with you so what I'm going to quickly do now is just furnish the rest of this off of camera and then I'll come back show you and then we'll get up and we'll do Judith's bedroom suite together and there we go I've just finished off the entrance hall with some gorgeous gorgeous things a nice flower arrangement as soon as you come in some plants some pictures and some hall tables I also furnished the bathrooms down here as well so they've got each their own shower and sink and a toilet all that you would need for your poos and pees your and poos this here i just i didn't really know what to do this area so i've to, because it's just off of the living room maybe this could be like a little quiet reading area so i put some bookcases on this side to kind of act for that and also this is judith's office with some of the many movies that she has been in over the years i think i might even so oh no i was just about to centralize that but it's because the panelling looks weird if I do something a bit different with these, you know, and I don't want to put that right up to the edge because that's just silly. So there they stay. Um, bookcase, not much going on in there. Not much going on in this whole house. But, you know, we're thinking about EA. We got EA in the brain, darlings. Now, what I also did was furnish the two uh, kind of guest rooms, really. We've gone for a very white and gold vibe for it to be honest with you a few black accents here and there i also changed out all of the wall lights for these ones instead including downstairs i just think they fit in with the theme a little bit more uh decorated this area a little bit more just put some plants here and there a couple of pictures and whatnot nothing too drastic and i also did one of the bathrooms here as well so 
got the full bath, got the swan bath and everything that they may need if they do have guests. So we are on to Judith's room. Now we are going to do this together. Now I've already kind of thought about the bed that I want and I think we're going to have to go for a pink vibe love. So we're going to go for this one and we're going to go for this. Judith would be absolutely made up of it. Yes, she wouldn't. Do it. So I'm going to flop you to there. I don't really know what side tables to pick. Maybe I could go for a bit more of a... Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, indeed. She would be all about that. We'll put them either side of the bed there. Don't know what lamps I want to put up on here. Maybe something a little bit more decorative. Do you know what? I think this one's fine. We'll put that one there. That one's absolutely gorgeous. Feeling that. Yes, I am indeed. This area here is absolutely screaming out for a chaise. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to flop in a little chaise into that moment there like that. Oh, yes, indeed. I think a nice little rug down on the floor here as well. And I think I'm going to copy what I did in the spare rooms and just use this one and flop you right there. I mean, what is the point of this rug? Not a lot, but it softens the room and that is the vibe that we're going for. Yes, it is. So this is, we, we haven't finished now. I'm going to add a few more details. I just don't know what I want to do just yet. But in here, now I think this is where we're going to get stung. Because I'm unsure if, oh no, it does come in a white and gold. Okay, well, we'll flop this in instead. We'll do you to there. And then I'll flop you to there like that. Now, do we have another swatch for this? Just so it like mixes up the clothes a bit. We do. We do indeed. I'm going to bring you out slightly from the wall because you look a little bit scrunched in at the end there yep I think that would be the absolute vibe and then maybe we could do shoes on either side here or even mm, let's try I'm gonna get rid of this one first we'll, we'll put the sconces back in but I don't know where I want to put them yet loves don't know where I want to put them so maybe hmm in fact what I might do is just put the shoes on this point here instead so if I can go here with the shoes we're gonna whiffle you across a little bit more there and the same with that one there like that. Yeah, kind of feeling that vibe. And I think she would have a wall, a wall of mirrors or at least 20 of them, you know. I think that would be from all angles. And then this area here, we could maybe put a styling station in. Yeah, I think I'm going to do this. Where she gets her makeup artist to come over and style her up and her hairdresser. And I reckon those are her only friends as well. Sad to admit, but Judith is a bitch, you know. So it's her. I don't feel sorry for her. I don't feel sorry for her in the slightest. <laughs> and I think I'm going to chaise up that little area there as well. <gasps> yes, definitely vibing with that. Now I'm feeling a big soft circle moment coming into this room for some reason. Let's have a little look. Well, if I put you to like directly below the light, which would be around about there, wouldn't it? Oh, I think that would work. Yes. Yes, it would. Okay. Yeah, Judith, that's all you're allowed, my love. You're not having anything else. I'm I, I'm even fine with keeping the bedroom like that, to be honest. In fact, what I might do, just add in a little chair over into this corner. Just into this corner here. Yeah, guys, I think I'm done. I can't spend any more time on Judith Ward because it's, it's, it's making me feel a bit sick, to be perfectly truthful with you. It really is. So let's get in and um, let's see what Judith thinks of it to be honest oh have a home worth 350,000 well she, you've got your aspiration complete darling haven't you um Judith come in here and just sit on the sofa to be honest oh admire new possession as she would oh she's gonna do her walk as well isn't she not the slow vain walk anything but that but hello welcome to Judith Ford's new mansion Mook mansion shall I say <laughs> so mm, it's okay it's not my greatest work obviously but I think it's a lot better than what it was before. And this is the back area here of Judith's mansion. Her grounds. Um, don't pay any attention to that there. We can blame the Sims 4 curves for that. She's got a swimming pool. She's got a dining area. I mean, do you know what? Not too bad. I prefer the back to the front. I will say that. But for me, asymmetry is just not the one. But do you know what is the one for me? The absolute Judith Llamas. I'm still much... I'm very much for them. Very much for them, indeed. Right, okay. Let's have a tour. Very loud birds. Right, you come in here. Into the main foyer. I might put some columns in here. Maybe not. Uh, <laughs> nope, not going to bother. Come into the living room. Judith is sat down. 
admiring her new area. I mean, not too bad. Not too bad at all. And you come through this way into this little entrance hall area. You go into here is the office, Judith's office, with her life's work up on the wall. Uh, there's a bathroom in here. Lovely stuff. You come through this way. You do have access out onto her. What would you call this? I don't know. It's not decking, is it? Well, it's something, you know, she's got that. Anyway, into the kitchen, into the kitchen, a very long kitchen, but I think it works quite well. And then you're over into this way, into a dining room. And you've obviously already seen in the toilet. And I'm not going to show you the other one because it's exactly the bloody same. Dining room moment. Stunning. Now, up onto the landing. <gasps> Timothy would have much room up here. Yes, he would indeed. Only OGs to the channel will know what I'm going on about. Weird shadow on the wall, but you can blame the Sims team for that. Um, We just did this room, which is obviously Judith's dressing room. Gorgeous. And you go through into Ju Ju I keep going to call her Julia. Judith's um boudoir bedroom uh, imagine living all he here by yourself in a house this big not for me um spare bedroom over here very white and gold then you come around to this way got the same going on in here as well beautiful 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 stuff and then the bathroom i didn't show you i didn't even bother furnishing the other bathroom but it's just going to be exactly the same as this and i will um not bother showing you that because it's just very boring. Very boring indeed. Anyway, let's leave on the best shot because the back of the house is definitely my favourite. <laughs> the back of the house is definitely the winner for me. Now, I have to say, something is going on with my game at the minute. I cannot upload anything to the gallery at the minute because I'm using Origin still. I'm still using Origin and something is not working. I don't know what's going on and it's not allowing me to go online. So I cannot get this up onto the gallery, but I will save it to my gallery. And as soon as I'm able to get every, all of my builds, including the one from yesterday, the speed build, as soon as I'm able to get them up on the gallery, I will get them up for you guys. But it's not working for me at the minute, I'm afraid. But that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Leave me some lovely comments down below. And I will be back on Tuesday. Have a lovely weekend. Goodbye.